It is not just the snow we have to worry about tomorrow as a massive space rock will make a close path to Earth or close for space standards. But it also presents a chance to see something that many of us don't usually get the chance to see. And joining us live via Zoom to talk all about it is Frank Marchis, Chief Scientific Officer at Unistellar and a Senior Planetary Astronomer at the SETI Institute. Frank, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. When we hear close path, that may strike some fear into some people. So I want to ask, how close will this space rock actually get to Earth? Well, it's close at the scale of the universe and the solar system. But in fact, it's going to be passing five times the distance between Earth and the moon. Okay. So quite far at the human scale, of course. We're talking about millions of kilometers here. That's good to hear. Now, it's big, right? How big is this? Yeah, this beast is, uh, is an interesting one. It's a one kilometer. So it's the size of the Golden Gate. We use San Francisco reference because that's where I am. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's one of the largest. It's one of the 900 largest near Earth asteroid. Wow. And it's interesting because it passed nearby Earth and crossed the orbit of our planet uh, from time to time, every five to six years, roughly. Wow. How does it compare to other close calls we've had in the past? Uh, we um, we had asteroid passing by between us and the moon. Um, Monday, but last Monday, uh, we observed one of them. It was a 10 meter class telescope and it was passing a quarter of the distance between Earth and the moon. It was smaller, so it was more difficult to find it and less dangerous because of course, the bigger they are, the more dangerous they are because they produce, if they impact our planet, large asteroid like the one kilometer who's going to visit us, which is going to visit us tomorrow, will produce an explosion which is thousand times stronger than any of the biggest explosion, atomic explosion we ever do, ever done. Wow. If people do want to, to check it out tomorrow, how can people see it? So you will need a telescope, unfortunately. This is one of the asteroids for which you will need a small telescope like the one we have mm -hmm. here. This is a unistellar eviscope, the Enhanced Vision Telescope. Uh, you can use an app or you can use uh, on the service on the web to find the coordinate if you have your own telescope and you will be able to see. And what you will see is a tiny dot passing by in the field of view uh, with respect to the background star. Nice. And it's, you may even be able to see some small variation of light due to the fact that the asteroid is not perfectly spherical. And that's what we do. That's the reason we're observing it, in fact, to get the shape, the shape and the size. And if you don't have a telescope, I'm sure there will be pictures uploaded and you can check them out tomorrow. Frank, thank you for sharing all this information and for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Yes, guys.